Good afternoon. Today I find myself in London. I arrived here a couple of days ago. I thought I'd do a quick video about the Peak Design Travel Duffel Bag. Now I have been using the Everyday Backpack for a couple of years now. I use it when I do my street photography. I take it to work uh, every day. I found this thing to be uh, really useful given the different pockets and configurations you can do inside. But when it came to travel, this just didn't uh, accommodate enough of my uh, personal stuff and my photography. So as a result, I picked up the Peak Design Travel Duffel Bag. And what I'd like to do is just go over some of the pros and cons that I find with this bag. I'm not going to go into tremendous detail with specs. Certainly you can go to the Peak Design website and that'll give you some of the uh, specs if you're interested. So the one thing that's quite noticeable about this when you first pick it up is the material feels quite durable. And I bang this around a little bit on the plane and so far no scratches. I do like the size of this at 35 uh, liters. It does fit quite a bit in here. The big strap on the top opens up nice and wide. There are some pockets on the inside. I must admit I don't use those pockets. There are some nice big pockets on the outside on both sides of the bag. And within here, you can put, uh, I've got a, my two passports, a couple of other, other pockets, and a place to put your, uh, your keys. A couple other really good pros is, I didn't think I would use them, but it has these two big handles on the bottom of the bag. And this is great for when you're reaching up and putting it into the luggage compartment or bringing it down. The other thing I quite like about this is the shoulder strap on this is a really nice comfortable foam. And when I was walking uh, through Heathrow with this, uh, it didn't hurt my shoulders at all. One thing I really like about this is the Peak Design camera cube and the packing cube both fit in. Uh, Peak Design has designed this so that it uh, operates into thirds and the camera cube takes up one third and the uh, packing cube takes up two thirds. So if you're interested, put a comment in there. I'll go into the uh, packing cube and the camera cube in greater detail. But all of my clothes will fit into this nice packing cube. And my camera will fit into this camera cube here. And I can just oh, pull this back. And I have my camera nice and securely placed in there. The security features aren't super robust, but this isn't something that I would put into a, as check luggage anyway. It does have these two loops that will allow you to uh, unstrap here and then loop around onto the other one and then affix it back onto the loop. So it creates a, a bit of uh, security there. So in terms of cons, the one thing I didn't like at first were the handles. They feel quite rigid and there's magnets in both. They stick together when you're holding them, but they just don't feel very comfortable. I must admit that uh, after a little while, I don't know if it's a case of me getting used to it or whether these have softened up a little bit, but it doesn't feel as bad as when I first uh, picked it up. Uh, the other con is the website suggests that the bag has been identified as, I think it's airline approved. Now, when I went to go look at Air Canada's international requirements for uh, hand luggage, it was slightly larger than uh, what Air Canada has um, required. So, so you, you do run a risk that uh, when checking in that they may require that you uh, check this bag in. 
So my overall summary is I think this is excellent value for money. It's a lot cheaper than the everyday backpacks and some of the other bags that uh, are offered by Peak Design. I think I paid about $150 Canadian for this. When I bought it, I thought to myself, you know, I, I risk buying this and it's going to sit in the closet until I go on vacation uh, sometime next year. But the more I think about it, I really like the camera cube. It uh, provides a lot of security and protection for my camera. It also frees up quite a bit of space uh, in the rest of the bag where I can throw a, tri you know, a travel tripod, I can throw some flashes and some other equipment. So if I am going to an event, I actually think this bag could be quite ideal for throwing a lot of equipment that I may need for that uh, event. So in summary, I think this is a really good buy for 150 bucks, great for traveling and great for uh, packing equipment for events. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you very much. Bye.